Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to George Simonian Alumni Stadium. Tonight we bring you a field hockey contest between Tewksbury and our Lady Lions. Right now, if you can hear the opening announcements, they're announcing the players. The game's set to go off at 6.30. I find myself working alone today. Bruce Byam and or Howie Neal aren't here. Apparently they just got a better contract than I do. So we are going to bring you an exciting game. Tewksbury and Chelmsford are some of the top players or teams in the Merrimack Valley. Tewksbury has one loss to Westward. Uh, Chelmsford lost to Westward a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so it looks or proves to be an exciting game. Assistant Coach Sharon Cardillo and Ashley Kingsbury. We would like to thank everyone for coming to tonight's game and remind you all to respect all in attendance by cheering for your team in a positive manner. The students, coaches, and officials have worked hard to prepare for tonight's game and deserve their support. Now would everybody please rise, remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem Sung by senior captain of the Lions, Amanda Lucia. They have a public service announcer, Paul Doherty, bringing us the national anthem. Already public service announcer announced Amanda Lucia. She's a captain, defender for the senior lion, or senior lion, and she did the national anthem. She has a beautiful voice. Uh, and in just a few minutes, we're going to get underway with this MVC contest. Coaches are giving some last minute instructions to their teams. The field hockey is a little bit different uh, than ice hockey, so there is no drop ball or face off that you're going to see as the teams break out. Uh, players will get into positions, and whoever won the toss uh, in the pregame conference with the referees will get the ball first. Looks like Tewksbury is getting set. Uh, they'll have the ball first. And here we go, 30 minute first half.
just like any sport, you know, soccer, hockey, uh, you want to you want to get the, the ball or the puck, you want to get it upfield. Generally in field hockey, you want to try to get it up uh, towards the wings and then work it to the center. You want to get the ball in front of the goalie and you want to get some shots on net. Field hockey is pretty much running time. You'll see some stoppage of play on certain penalties or infractions. Um, field hockey can only score a goal if the ball is touched with inside a 16-yard circle. It's kind of hard to see the lines in this field because there's lines for just about every sport out there. Okay, that, that indicates the ball went out of bounds uh, before she had a chance to take the shot on net. Ball goes to Tuxbury. One of the things that, that helped uh, field hockey, especially in the schools that have the turf field, is the, the, the evenness and the level of the field. The ball will bounce left and uh, kind of give a truer roll. That was senior forward, forward Mary Lou Ryder. pressure on uh, Tuxbury early in the game. As I said before, Tuxbury is very good. I think they have about one loss. They lost to Westford, a team that Chumps had lost to earlier this year as well. The goal is pretty simple. Again, it's to get the ball up the field, get it in front of the net, take, take some shots. Uh, there's about four different infractions that can happen in, in during that play. Um, you'll notice if you see a field hockey stick, it's flat on one side and curved on the other. Uh, players are only allowed to touch the ball with the flat side so you'll see the players when it goes to the opposite side though they have to turn the stick over and just use the flat side an offensive player has the right right of way basically and um, the only way that you can stop the ball is to actually play the ball you can't put your body in front of a player here was some action in front of the net there were two shots on net took spray goalie uh, number 11, Cora Gagnon, uh, good on the stop. Here you see Tuxbury is going to try to get the ball up to the side. As long as the offensive player is moving the ball, then they can do pretty much what they want with it. It's when you turn your back to a, a defender and not move the ball, with it. that'll be an infraction. The play will be stopped and the ball will go to the other possession. You can't use the brown side of the stick. Uh, dangerous balls will stop play and the ball will go to the other team. Dangerous play would be a ball that goes up high. And generally speaking, um, and these are layman's terms, I, I've been around field hockey for a long time, however, uh, I, don't, I don't have the very specifics, but um, if you're the third defender in, third person in, uh, like the second defender in, sometimes that's called instruction. There you had a, a, an example of a type of obstruction where uh, you have to play the ball. If you hit the other player's stick, then the play stopped. You maintain possession and you, you uh, get a five-yard cushion of any defender. If the ball hits the player's body, then uh, the ball goes to the other, per other team. It was a great play there. Ball centered in front of the goalie. It was deflected. And number four, senior forward Bailey Stone, put a nice shot. And uh, Tuxbury defender actually got her stick on it and stopped it from going in. One of the things you'll, you'll see in during this game is the players, players are trying to move the ball up and they, they want to use each other. They want to pass it, much like basketball. Uh, you want to you want to pass it to, you, to the next open player. Just kind of keep the moving, the, keep moving the ball forward. There you have an obstruction. The Chumpsy defender uh, put her body physically in the way of, of the Tuxbury offense, and uh, that uh, that is called obstruction. 
Um, here we have a corner coming up. Corner happens when there's an infraction inside that 16-yard uh, circle. Uh, and as you can see, they're setting up. Chumpshirt is allowed uh, four defenders with the goalie. Tewksbury can have as many people as they want in the offensive end. Um, and it's a free hit. Free hit has to go to the top of the circle, has to come out of the circle, and then back in, and, and Tewksbury will take a shot on net. Chumpshirt defending it nicely. Number five, Bailey Stone uh, getting in the way. Here we have a pass out to the wing. Chumps are moving the ball nicely in transition, going from defense to offense. That would be, well, that ball went out of bounds uh, on a shot. If there are players in the vicinity of that high a shot, then the referee would have blown the whistle. Um, call it a dangerous play. Whenever there's a shot and goes out of bounds, it just automatically comes out uh, 12 yards or 16 yards, and Tewksbury or Chumps will get the ball. That's number nine, Maddie Dahlmeyer with the ball. Um, you'll see chump shooter, you'll see field lucky girls in general work, basically work in uh, sets of three. There's always going to be maybe a girl in front to get the ball, girl with the ball, and a girl behind her backing up. And again, uh, infractions will cause uh, the ball to change possessions. In that case, it looked like it was too high uh, and too close to people, um, so they call it the other way. Probably an obstruction call. Took spray girl, turned her back to a chumpsuit person with the ball, and they just not allowed to do that. That was Courtney Lucia uh, doing a great job on defense. Again, as long as the ball's in motion, uh, the person with the ball can turn their back uh, as long as it's always moving. And Chumpshut scores his first goal. Let's see if I can get to the name of the player that scored that. Looks like number four, Bailey Stone. As you can see that, uh, how difficult it is. Uh, you have three or four people in the way. So goalie's kicking the ball. Uh, Chumps his offense just, just constantly with their stick down and just kind of pushing it back at the goalie. Here we have Tewksbury trying to switch fields. That's a kind of a case where you give ground to get some ground. Jumps is putting very good pressure on Tewksbury here. Uh, they're, they're moving their feet well. They're, they're putting themselves in good position to stop the ball. You see stick work there. Again, you have to keep the flat side to the ball. Girls have to spin their sticks around. Here we have a shot on net. Again, when the, when the shot's taken from outside the 16-yard uh, circle, um, someone inside the circle on your team has to touch it. It has to be tipped in. Uh, and there you had a nice shot and a, and a reach, uh, almost a tip in. Chumps are putting very good pressure on Tewksbury. As you saw from the first goal, I think that's the name of the game. You, you want to get the ball centered. You want to get the ball inside that circle. You want to get it going at um, 
the goalie, unlike hockey where a goalie can scoop up a puck and uh, have a, a face-off away. Um, field hockey goalies can only uh, really just kind of kick it out, and uh, they have to kick it out under control, actually. They, they can't just slam their foot down and kick it up in the air. Um, so it's kind of tough uh, being a goalie, number one, but to have your offense there to um, get those rebounds and take extra shots. Okay, looks like it hits uh, hit Chumpsford's leg. So then the ball goes to Tuxbury's possession. No matter how it hits it, it can roll off your own stick. If it touches your body, then it goes goes possession the other way. Okay, Tuxbury trying to trying to get the ball out of their own end. Chumpsford putting very good pressure. And number eight, Rachel Hopkins. Here you have an example of how, how the girls are playing. Um, you had uh, Courtney Lucia playing up. Uh, there's no offsides. You can have all the players you have in the field as, as close to the goalie as you want. Um, as someone else takes over possession, uh, then Miss Lucia just got behind her and put herself back in possession, uh, position to defend. And you're seeing uh, good, good examples of that. Chumpshire girls coming forward, going after the ball. Uh, and as, they, as one Chumpshire player comes forward, uh, a responding Chumpshire player goes behind to, to be in position to defend. Okay, we have a nice steal, number 19, uh, Julia Squarey. An obstruction uh, call there, so go, possession goes the other way. Whenever there's a stop of play and uh, possession goes the other way, or possession can stay the same way, the other players have to give a five-yard cushion to start, to start the play again. You'll hear the girls, I don't know if you can hear, hear it on this mic, but the girls are constantly talking to each other, and that's part of the game, is, is calling for uh, your teammates to, you know, to move to certain places, to, to let them know that they're open. Here we have number five, senior Mary Lou Ryder. Okay. And that's an obstruction call. Tuxbury got in the way. They really retains possession. That's what they would call a through pass. Jumps in now in, in the scoring position. Tuxbury defender number 14. Um, Haley Sutherland, she's a senior. She uh, great defensive play, getting it out of the, the scoring end. Again, Chumps are doing a great job with keeping pressure in, the, in our offensive end. Tuxbury's really uh, been forced to defend. Almost 15 minutes have gone by in the first half, and the ball has been probably 14 minutes in uh, Tuxbury's defensive side. Chumpshire players re reacting very well. Number nine, uh, Maddie Dalmeyer. I believe Maddie's just back. I thought I think she was injured for a while, and she's just coming back tonight. Every time Tuxbury se seemingly gets a, uh, something moving, uh, Chumpshire defender is there to stop them. Another uh, another aspect of field hockey is its substitution on the fly. Players call uh, the person they're replacing from the sidelines. As soon as they're able to get off, they get off and a new player comes on. This is the first year Trumpshirt has had uh, the turf field. 
Um, generally speaking, playing on the grass field is a huge detriment to field hockey. Right here you have a ball that has a true bounce, or a true roll, actually. Here we have Chumstreet uh, putting the ball in front of the net and just misses uh, the stick of um, Ford number, let's see if I can see that number four, maybe Bailey Stone. Um, but yeah, Chumstreet uh, putting in the turf fields uh, has really, really helped. Uh, it gives a true roll. Girls love playing on it. Uh, we play so many other teams in different towns that have the turf field. Um, so it, it really kind of helps the game. It speeds it up. It makes it a, a, a quicker game, more, a little bit more exciting. Here we have Chumpshed still putting great pressure on Tewksbury. And again, there was a, there's an infraction inside that uh, circle, so we have a corner for Chumpshed. Again, the ball comes out of the circle. Number nine, Maddie Dahlmeyer on the drive. The idea is just to drive it back into the circle and have one of, one of your own players try to tip it beyond uh, the reach of the goalie. Corners are a huge part of field hockey. Uh, oftentimes, uh, a lot of the scores come off the corners. Here we have a shot on net, I believe by Sarah Squarey. Uh, just a little bit wide. So after shots that missed, the defending team gets the ball. Once again, Tewksbury trying to get it out, brings it up to the center of the field. Senior defender uh, Amanda Lucia, I think I've been saying Courtney, which is a sister, which shows my age. Uh, the, the Lucia sisters have played with my own daughter uh, at Chumpson High Field Hockey uh, the last three or four years. Uh, Courtney and my daughter have graduated, so I apologize. I've been calling uh, Amanda Courtney, and it really is Amanda. E exceptional players, both. At the 12-minute mark, uh, Chumps is still putting great pressure. Here we have a, a drive into the Scoring error by number one, Rachel Bossy. Rachel's a junior. She's a three-year starter. Tewksbury having a difficult time getting the ball out. Chumps with defenders are, are everywhere they need to be. That, on that play, number 10, uh, Sarah Squarey stopped the Tewksbury drive. It's a quick game. It's a, it's a very easy transition with, uh, with the artificial turf. The ball rolls, rolls so smoothly. Before with the grass fields, any, any little imperfection in the grass would kick the ball in different directions or slow it down. I think, uh, I think the second that the field was open, the field hockey team had practice. Um, having been watching Chumpsit High field hockey for uh, probably almost 20 years now, the, the last uh, four years with my own daughter, the well, previous four years, um, it, it's, a it's a really good uh, thing to have these fields. So uh, not only the football benefit, but all the sports. Chumps at another corner. In that case, the ball went by the stick, touches the player leg, and therefore it goes the other way. And here's, a, here's what I mean by a quick transition. Uh, these girls are have tremendous swings and those sticks are usually composite and that ball will just fly up the field. So at any given time, uh, the tides can turn. So girls are constantly moving to 30 minute half. These girls are probably running several miles in that half. Tewksbury with a good job getting the ball out. Chumps it with great pressure. Number one, Rachel Bossy retaining possession. Again, you'll see them just constantly trying to get the ball in front of the net. You, you want your forwards to try to tip that ball in. Tewksbury on a very tough defense. And there you saw a, a, a mild collision, uh, and that's what I mean by obstruction. The player has a right to run forward. Your, your body can't be in the way. You'll notice that the defense of field hockey is stick on ball. 
He had the ball touch the player's foot, so uh, they'll put the ball at the approximate area of where it was touched. Uh, Five-yard cushion is uh, the ne necessary uh, penalty by the defender, defending team. Again, took uh, Chumpshit hustling very, very nicely, uh, moving their feet, getting to where the ball is, putting themselves in good positions, transitioning nicely. Some great stick work by Rachel Bossy there. Notice she turned her stick over. And what we have there is a delayed penalty. Rachel's turned her stick over, hit it with the proper side of the stick. The ball touched a Tewksbury player inside the shooting zone, scoring zone, I should say. Uh, delayed penalty. What happens is the referees allow chumps with the offensive opportunity, much like they do in hockey. Uh, this uh, gives chumps at another corner. And again, corners are a very important part of the field hockey game. As you can see, their team is under defended. And the idea is get the ball outside the circle for a second, then get it back in. In that case, you had a nice drive, and it's driven at a Ford who's standing there who tries to get a stick on it. It's a remarkable game. It's a game of hand-eye coordination. Uh, the ball, ball sounds hard, but it's really not a very heavy ball. But I tell you, it, it travels. Uh, these girls are pretty tough. I've se already seen two or three girls get hit, um, and it hurts. It stings. Here we have another corner. Corners can start from either side of the goal. Uh, it depends if, uh, if there are any kind of offensive plays. This is, this is where you see them. I know Coach, Coach Devaney has multiple ideas on what she wants in her corners, different configurations. No matter which one, though, the ball has to come out of the circle, has to go back in the circle before you're allowed to score. Now the corner, ball hit, hit the Tewksbury person in the leg. Again, you can see how important these corners are. Tooks, uh, we have a timeout. But uh, when, when you're defending a corner, you, you only have four girls, and the uh, offensive team can have it, as many girls as they want. And so uh, oftentimes you're outnumbered two to one. Beautiful night for field hockey. There's a little bit overcast, but uh, it's probably you know in the mid 60s for the girls running around on the field. I'm sure it feels fantastic. Again, they're they're running miles up there. They're up and they're up and down. They're they're basically sprinting 10 yards forward, sprinting 10 yards back. Very little rest. You'll see subs Coach Devaney substituting the girls. You see both teams obviously substituting girls. And again, they sub on the fly. Tewksbury, I, I, traditionally in the in four years I watched my daughter on the on the team has has always been a tough opponent. They they're very uh, aggressive. Uh, they have good skills. Um, this year they they're probably leading the MVC small division, small school division. Uh, Chumpshire very much in the hunt like they always are for the MVC. Girls do a lot of work in the off season. Coach Devaney uh, does a great job preparing uh, the young ladies. Uh, she she makes sure that they get to camps, get to clinics. Uh, she gives instruction on, on how to work out. She sets them up uh, with uh, area training facilities. The girls work hard. Here we have another corner. And that's a goal. I hesitated because sometimes when the ball is too high, they won't give you a goal. But that was a 
That was a great goal. Number 14, uh, senior Jen Hill, uh, starting the playoff, uh, hitting it to, I want, I want to say that might have been Maddie Dullmeyer, uh, drives it back into the circle, did not see the player who tipped the ball. Generally, you know who scores the ball, scores because they'll grab the ball out of net and bring it to the center of the field. Excellent, excellent display of a great corner. Tewksbury gets the ball. Again, Chumpsuit's defense, very stingy. Moving the feet, putting themselves in the right spot. One of the four infractions again stops play. Gives, gives the team a, a chance to start with some space. Here you have Chumpsuit defenders, uh, number one, Rachel Bossy. I think that's number nine, uh, Maddie Dahlmeyer. Number one, Rachel Bossy bringing the ball up, bringing it to Mary Lou Ryder. Mary Lou tries to get it into in front of the net, into the circle. Maddie Dullmeyer. Okay, that's some uh, that's stick obstruction. So Maddie had hit the Tewksbury stick, I think. If you know field hockey and I got it wrong, then I apologize. Jumps it very aggressive on defense. And as I said before, you, you, you know, you'll see one defender pick up and the other get, get in better position. They work in teams of two or three. Uh, number two, Nardina Serra uh, on the defense there. Gets it quickly up to De Ma Matty Dahlmeyer, now Mary Lou Ryder. Get it to the center. Number four, Bailey Stone. Again, drive it into that circle. <laughs> Referee in the middle of everything. Tewksbury doing a great job getting it out of that circle. But once again, Trump's defense is very stingy. <laughs> Listening to the public service announcer, I hear the p previous goal was scored by Libby McCurry. Libby is a senior, I believe. Libby is a senior captain. She's a forward. First half winding down, about four minutes left. Tewksbury having a very difficult time tonight getting it past uh, the 50-yard line or past midfield. Chumps with defenders are putting themselves in great position. Rachel Bossy with the steal, trying to get it up to Mary Lou Ryder, uh, just a little high. If any of you viewers have ever played golf, the swing is very similar to golf, so if you're if your feet aren't quite in the right position or, you know, your head's looking somewhere else, it's, it's easy kind of to get that ball off the ground or just kind of mishit it. Again, Rachel with a nice job trying to get a pass up to Mary Lou Ryder just ahead of the uh, sprinting senior. Goes out of bounds. Ball goes to Tewksbury's possession at the top of the circle. Again, the, the ball is, is a hard plastic. It's not very heavy, it's a hollow center, but uh, you're talking about fiberglass or composite type sticks. The ball's coming at you pretty fast. It's amazing that the girls can stop it when they do. Here we have a shot in net. Goalie trying to kick the ball out. Chumps it forwards, just trying to push it back in. So you'll see the ball bounce off the sticks a lot. The, the, uh, the skill that, that these girls need in uh, catching the ball kind of a soft hands type situation, kind of just take enough off the stick to uh, um, have the ball just kind of stop in front of him. Tewksbury uh, gets possession on an infraction. 
You'll see field hockey players try to get the ball up the sidelines. That's uh, that's it's usually how they do it. Get the ball up the sidelines, and when you get near the goal, get it in front of the goal. Rachel Bossy with a nice drive, uh, just ahead of the sprinting Libby McCurry and Mary Lou Ryder. One of the benefits, again, of the, the turf field is the idea that that ball will roll. It will roll, roll forward, uh, unencumbered by grass uh, divots or, or whatnot. Number two, Nardina Serra with the defensive stop and transitioning into the jump shot offense. Rachel Bossy working around. Tuxbury defender number 10, uh, Bridget Casey. Tuxbury with a nice transition. Get the ball up the sidelines. Chumps a very stingy defense. Here you see the ball rolled up the Tuxbury girl stick, number one, um, Amanda Brown. Doesn't matter how it gets there, but if it touches your body, then it, the ball goes up possession the other way. Now you have Chumpshire and Maddie Dahlmeyer to Bailey Stone. Bailey did a great job hunting the ball down. Gives it to Libby McCurry. Puts it on net. Goalie kicks it out. Coley does a great job. Goalie doesn't have the right to kick it any way she wants. She has to keep the ball low. Very difficult position to play. And another another goal by Chumpshire. Let's see. Again, the way you tell is whoever grabs it has scored it. That looks like Bailey Stone. So again, Chumpshire getting the ball very, very tough inside the scoring circle. Tuxbury goalie, all they can do is kick it away. Tuxbury defenders put their sticks down. Chumps are tenacious on those shots. And we, with just under a minute left, it looks like, have a 3 0 lead. Tuxbury with a late threat. Infraction keeps the ball Tuxbury's possession. Ball goes placed down where the infraction happened. Five yard cushion. As soon as the ball starts moving, everybody can move. Jumps it very quick on the defense. Again, uh, infractions outside the scoring circle do not hurt a team. It just stops the play. And Rachel doing a great job intercepting the pass. You'll see it try to get to the sidelines. This is called a through pass. Picked up by number 10, uh, Sarah Squarey. See Mary Lou Ryder getting herself in position. Maddie Dullmeyer. And at halftime. There's the horn for halftime. If you didn't hear it, Chumpshire 3, Tuxbury 0 in MVC field hockey action. Corners are the equivalent of dead ball fouls in football, so you actually will play the corner. The corner will be played with no time until the offensive threat is over. The offensive threat is over as soon as Tuxbury can get it out of the scoring circle. So, Coach Devaney, I hope when you hear this broadcast, I have done this justice. I'm not used to working alone. Okay, Chumps are setting it up. I'll try to get a name for you. Here's the hit out. Stop the ball, drive it. And just wide. And that will end the first half. Chumps has a commanding 3-0 lead. At the beginning of this second half, Chumps will start with the ball as soon as the whistle blows. And there we go. Generally speaking, uh, the ball will move backwards then out to a side, and then up the sideline. 
generally speaking. Chumster did a great job in the first half. 30-minute um, half, 28 minutes of it, by my uninformed estimation, was in the Tewksbury offensive, uh, defensive end. Chumster putting great pressure on the Tewksbury goalie, having multiple shots, and coming away with three goals. Here we have a nice job. Chumster quickly getting the ball into the defensive side of Tewksbury. Again, Ch Ch Chumps are putting themselves in good position to defend the ball. As I said before, you, you, you can kind of see them working in threes. Someone on the ball, someone ready to receive a pass, someone backing them up. As one moves, the others move. Stop at your play, ball goes to Chumpsford. Chumpsford trying to get it past the midline. Chumps are reacting very nicely to their the passes. Moving the ball. Here you're going to have the ball trying to get into the scoring, scoring circle. As you can see, the teams have switched sides. We have some stoppage, some infraction against Chumpsford. Tewksbury will get possession of the ball. All the, girls, all the girls doing a great job out there. I think one of the things that has uh, added to Chumpsford's success is, is how, they, how they move and they don't quit on the ball. Again, tenacious, I think, is the word to describe it. Chumpsford making some substitutions. Or uh, I guess we have a bit of equipment issue. Stephanie Cardone, jumps at goalie, uh, looking for a new helmet. As you can see how the ball flies around, when you're a goalie, you definitely want, want the right equipment on, and certainly the, goal, the uh, goalie's helmet is important. Okay, Bailey Stone intercepting the pass, driving to the center, looking for Libby McCurry or... That was Sarah Squarey. That's number seven, Amanda Lucia, defending the ball, getting it up. Number 12, Libby McCurry. As you can see, the ball doesn't stay too long and one person stick, and that's the whole idea of field hockey. Tewksbury doing a nice job trying to get the ball up the sideline. Again, Chumps' defense very stingy tonight. That looked like Maddie Delmeyer, number nine. Infraction on Chumpsford. Tewksbury gets possession. And here we have an infraction on Tewksbury. Maddie Delmeyer getting the ball, taking it up. Driving it to Libby McCurry. Libby moving the ball nicely. Again, once once a, once you have the ball on offense, you aren't allowed to turn your back to a defender unless, of course, the ball is moving. Libby doing a great job with that. Number 10, Sarah Square with the defense there. You can see it's all stick. You can't use your body. It's getting the stick on the ball. Number two, I think, was uh, Nardina Serra. Now Maddie, Maddie Dahlmeyer. You see the girls working in tandem. Chumps are moving their feet, moving to the ball. Five-yard cushion. Once that ball starts, though, the five-yard cushion is all over, and, and you can go after the ball. And a pass into Bailey into the scoring, sc scoring circle just goes a little, uh, little beyond her. Must have been touched or deflected by a Tewksbury defender. When that happens, they call it a long hit. The ball goes out to the side. Jumps and starts its offense. That's Kathleen ne uh, Catherine Nestor. Amanda Lucia. Again, I apologize. I kept saying Courtney. It shows you my age. Courtney's her older sister. Graduated uh, two years ago. Lucia's a very good uh, 
feel like the play is very good, and they're both very good singers, as, as Amanda did the national anthem. Here you see uh, number 10, Sarah Square getting the ball in the scoring, scoring circle. Just like any sport, you want to draw the defense to you, pass the ball off uh, for a tip into the net. Tuxbury's, um, Tuxbury. Tuxbury's doing a, a good job trying to get the ball out. Uh, Chumpson's offense is tenacious. Um, you're there in that previous place, she took Sperry with uh, the ball, trying to get it out. Chumpshire defenders, though, doing a great job. They're staying low. Their sticks are on the ground. The field hockey game is very demanding on uh, young athletes, especially. The game is played in, in a, um, a bent position. You have to bend at the knees. Jen Hill hitting the ball in for this corner. Libby McCurry with the ball, passes it to Bailey Stone. Sarah Squarey right in front of the net. Tuxbury getting sticks in the way. Libby McCurry trying to get the ball in the center. Um, that ball, I believe, hits Sarah on the foot, so the ball is going to go the other way. And you notice, Chumpshire defenders are right there. Catherine Nestor, Amanda Lucia. Okay, that would have been obstruction on Tuxbury. Five yard cushion. Amanda starts the ball in. Notice the girls. Chumpsy goes on a great job moving to the ball. Bailey Stone with a drive, just missing Sarah's stick uh, for the tip in. Again, scores can only count if the ball is touched inside the scoring circle. That's Manny Dahlmeyer intercepting a pass. Number 14, Jen Hill. Tuxbury getting the ball up. That hit uh, jumps into some Andalusia. Now the ball goes the other way. Jumps with double coverage. Rachel Bossy looking for. Looking for a pass, Maddie Dalmeyer. Maddie driving the ball into the scoring circle. Tuxbury Golan doing a good job kicking it out. Chumpsuit keeping it in the scoring circle. There's Jen Hill getting the ball back in the circle. Sarah Squarey, ball hitting Sarah's leg. Therefore, you have a changed possession. Tuxbury. Driving the ball out, trying to get it out of their defensive end. Chumpson, again, doing a great job getting to the ball. Jen Hill. G goal. Goal of the offense is to get it into that scoring circle. Maddie Dellmeyer. Back to Rachel Bossy. She took spray feverishly trying to make sure that ball is out of that circle. Good stick control. You see Maddie switching, switching the stick around so that the flat side is the only part touching the ball. Here you have Tuxbury touching the ball with the foot, I believe. And that's a corner because it happened inside the scoring circle. Jen Hill drives the ball out. Again, there are several different plays Coach Devaney likes to use just to kind of switch it up, give a better opportunity for us to score. Sarah Squarey to Rachel Bossy. In, in the corner situation, and we have another corner. In the corner situation, the fence has started only with four players. The rest have to go out to the 50. Um, once the play is started, they can run in. So girls on Tuxbury doing a great job running in, uh, defending the goal. Rachel Bossy to Bailey Stone. Jen Hill taking the ball from Tuxbury. Nice drive. And we have a corner. Again, the referees are allowed to have a delayed penalty. Uh, I thought maybe that was a little bit of a quick whistle. Um, 
Unless, of course, uh, they called it a dangerous, uh, dangerous ball, then obviously they'd stop it. And again, a dangerous ball is a ball that's pretty much above the shins uh, near players. Starting the corner from the other side this time. I think that's to Rachel, to Bailey, Sarah. Just misses wide right. Because it went off a Tewksbury player, um, Chumpster is giving a long hit situation. Long hit situation. The ball goes out to the sideline. Um, five yards from the end line, ten yards from the end line. And Chumpson has a chance to drive it into through the cir scoring circle again. Every time Chooksbury gets the ball at a scoring circle and starts the ball upfield, Chumpson's defense has been fantastic and just being there and stopping the ball. Here we have an infraction against Chumpson inside the circle, so now it goes the other way. Five yard cushion, Chooksbury starts the ball. Another chump shoot infraction. Uh, again, the ball has to be put in place where the infraction occurred. The opposing team has to give a five yard cushion. This is called a self pass. Once the ball starts to move, then everyone else can move. You can see Tuxbury struggling tonight, trying to get anything on offense going. Chump shoot just in the right spots at the right times, hustling. Rachel Bossy taking the ball away, getting up the field to Maddie Dahlmeyer. There's an infraction. Tewksbury gets the ball. And Rachel Bossy there to stop. Again, Chumpson seems to be where Tewksbury doesn't want him to be. Mary Lou Ryder keeping the ball in play. Again, great amount of skill involved in this. Um, you know, you have to see where your, your players are. You have to see where their players are. You have to play with your knees bent and play low. You have to hit the ball with the only, the flat side of the stick. Girls do a tremendous job. Make it look easy, actually. Amanda Lucia getting the ball in. Here we have Sarah Squarey, Jen Hill. Tewksbury defender doing a nice job taking it out. It's one of, one of the things about feel like it, though. You have to get rid of that ball. You have to be looking for that next pass. The longer you have the ball on your stick, the greater chance the opposing defense has of collecting themselves and defending you. When that ball was a li hit a little too high, they would call that a dangerous ball. Tewksbury's ball the other way. Here we have Rachel Bossy maintaining possession. Number 18 out there, seeing some action, is uh, freshman defender Meg Douglas. Tewksbury trying to, trying to work the, the ball upfield. Intercepted by Delaney Gembis. And she just drives it down Chumpshead's sideline. Again, Chumpshead putting all the pressure on Tewksbury. I believe Tewksbury has gotten it, got it, gotten it past midline only once or twice in the second half. Almost 15 minutes gone. See a lot of good stick play. Again, it's the whole idea, get that ball on net. And again, the, the skill it takes to swing the stick, again, if you played golf, uh, any, any little variation in that, the face of the club, just like in field hockey, will cause the ball to do things you don't want it to do. One of the things field hockey players want to do is keep it low. It's, it's, uh, it's illegal if it's too high and it's near people, so... Uh, you have feet have to be in the right position, and again, the ball, you're always hitting the ball on the run. Your feet have to be in the right position. Your club face or stick face has to be in the right position. Here, uh, Chumpsy does a great job getting the ball, moving it back to move it forward, gaining space. And we have another goal. It looks like Mary Lou Ryder scored, number five. 
Again, great action. Get the ball centered. Get the ball deflected away from that goalie. Chumps should putting the fourth point on with just about 15 minutes left in the game. Goal, I think, was assist from uh, Libby McCurry. Just like hockey, an assist is when you know, the first person that uh, touched it before the goal score, or the last person to touch it before the goal score. Tewksbury making their deepest foray into Chumpsford territory. Quickly defended, that's number 19, Isabel uh, Denaney. Rachel Bossy driving it upfield. Just out of the reach of Mary Lou Ryder. Tewksbury gets the ball. Pretty much from where it's driven out of bounds in that, in that particular play. Tewksbury doesn't seem to get, get anything offensively started. I think that's a lot of credit to the Chumps for defense. See the girls moving constantly. Again, getting into position, one person on the ball, other people surrounding in the, in the right positions. Number 19, freshman defender, Isabel Tanehi, Tanehi, doing a great job. You see how she turned her stick around uh, to, to hit the ball again with that flat side. Mandalusha with the free hit, gets the ball started. Nice pass. Number eight, Rachel Hopkins. Maddie Dolmeyer driving it into the circle, just missing. Oh, I'm sorry, that's number six. And I do not have that on my list, so I'll have to get her name for you. Jumps it in fraction, Tuxbury with the ball. Five-yard cushion, self-pass, starts the ball upfield, drive beyond, Tewksbury reach, picked up, jumps a defender. Nice hustle on the sideline. Mary Lou Ryder kept, kept it in bounds, centers it. Libby McCurry, Maddie Dahlmeyer. Number 18 in there is Meg Douglas. Chumps it in fraction. Quickly regained by Chumps it. Number 9, Maddie Delmeyer. To Mary Lou Ryder. Tewksbury did a nice little job getting it out. Chumps it just proving too quick and, and being in the right position. Uh, Tewksbury's having a tough time keeping it out of their defensive end. And here we have a corner. Chumps are doing a great job forcing corners, and that's that's what you want to do when you're in that end. As you can see, it gives the offense a, a great a advantage. You're almost your entire team against four defenders and a goalie. Ball comes out beyond the circle. Ball has to go back in the circle. Nice drive. Again, the key, just drive that ball in there and have one of your forwards or up mid midfieldman tip the ball past the goalie into the net. And here we have a timeout. Just about 11 minutes to play left in the game.
Chelmsford is coached by longtime coach Maura Devaney, her assistant, again, longtime, Sharon Cardillo. Both are teachers in Chelmsford School District, Chelmsford High School. Do a fantastic job with these young ladies. Coach Abel in this game to play some younger kids. It's how good programs perpetu perpetuate themselves. You and you can have your young players get some varsity time. Quick timeout. Chumpson gets ready to come back onto the field. Now we're waiting for Tewksbury. The referee will be calling him over in a sec. Chumps are doing a fantastic job tonight. Putting lots of pressure on the Tewksbury defense and the Tewksbury goalie. Most goals have come off uh, multiple shots. Uh, just like if you're a hockey fan, a uh, goalie stops a ball, but it's really just kind of a deflection, and y you hope your defense can get it out of the scoring area. And, uh, chumps are just too much pressure, too many chumps with sticks on the ball. Tuxbury's going to start us off. Nice through pass up the field. Chumps with defense harassing Tuxbury offense every step of the way. That was Catherine Nestor defending, trying to get the ball out. Chumpsuit passing the ball. See how difficult it is to what we call dribble the ball. Um, sometimes your feet kind of go faster than the ball does. So great amount of skill. There's Maddie Dolmeyer driving the ball. Libby McCurry. There's Rachel Hopkins doing a nice job retaining possession, getting the ball upfield. You can see the general idea. The Chumpson girls have been doing a great job all night. Uh, they really haven't had much to do in the way of transitioning from our, their defensive end to offense. They've been mainly on the offensive side. But you get the ball up the sidelines, then you get the ball in the middle of the field, and Chomps are doing a great job just driving the ball to the scoring circle. Here we have another Chomps interception. Tewksbury takes the ball back. Chumps with infraction. Tewksbury maintains possession. There they have a free hit. Again, your five-yard cushion. Self-pass. That means the person with the ball has to move the ball just a little bit to show everybody that they're going to start the play. And then they can keep the ball or pass it away. Sharing the ball. Nice catch by uh, Libby McCurry, I think. Here we have a chump shoot infraction. Now the ball comes to the top of the circle. Tewksbury will try to get it out of the defensive end once again. Tewksbury driving the ball again on this turf surface. The ball rolls unencumbered by divots and tufts of grass. Much quicker game when you're on the turf surface. And uh, as chump shoot had suffered through many years of grass, uh, and opposing teams having the, the turf surface, it really was a disadvantage. This year, 
I, like I said, I think the field opened up in the second later. The girls are practicing on it. Nice drive up the sideline. Nardina Sarah trying for the ball. That was Maddie Delmeyer. Tewksbury trying to move the ball up. Jumps its defense, very tenacious. Delaney Gembis. Meg Dugas. Moving the ball nicely. The infraction. She turned to see it, turned her back to the defender, not allowing the defender free access to the ball. And uh, just didn't quite keep it moving enough. And so that would be the infraction, I believe. Again, Coach Devaney, if you listen to this broadcast, I'm sure you can correct me in the morning. Tuxbury trying to get the, something started. Uh, Chumps are just, just too tough. Okay, looking for that up pass. That was Michaela Shaw driving the ball up. Nardi uh, Nardina Sarah running along with her looking for that pass. Some infraction, I'm not sure what it was, gives Chum, uh, Tewksbury possession. Chump should quickly on the ball, knocks it out of bounds. Tewksbury maintains possession. Just about six minutes left in the game. Tewksbury trying to get a goal, trying to get the ball out of their defensive area. Chump should doing a great job stopping that. Here we have number 15, Caroline Millen. And that was a Tewksbury infraction. Chumpshut maintains possession. There's a Chumpshut infraction. The ball goes between your legs like that. It's called obstruction. They can't, you know, not allowed. Ball goes the other way. Tewksbury getting up uh, into the Chumpshut defensive zone for one of the few times tonight. Chumpshut quickly rallying and getting the ball up past midfield. Kayla Shaw being pretty tough on that ball. Now we have Bailey Stone. I think uh, Coach Devaney has switched some of the positions around. Some of the defenders are now playing offense, and obviously the offenders are playing defense. Nardina, senior defender, now up at midfield. Chumps are putting great pressure on the, on the goalie. Goalie kicking the ball out. Chumps are keeping it in the scoring circle. Driving it in. I'll have to get you the name of that young lady. Number six. I don't have it on my sheet. Maddie Dullmeyer keeping the ball in play. Number three is Delaney Gembis. Another drive into the circle. Chumps are very tough in this, in this position. Tewksbury, all they can do to get it out of the scoring circle. Bailey Stone getting that ball back in. You see Chumps are just in the right position all the time. Meg Dugas, Dugas. Rachel Hopkins, Bailey Stone. Chumps it in fraction, took spray ball. Took, took spray not able to get the ball to where they want it tonight. Chumps it just, just in the way. Perfect offensive play. Get the ball centered, drive it past the goal. That actually is not Rachel Hopkins.
So, it's hard to read the numbers on the jerseys. That's number six. It's a young lady. I'm not sure what her name is. We're going to try to get her name for you. She did a great job in front of that net. Jumps it back um, on the Tewksbury defensive side, putting more pressure, and there we have a corner. Thompson sitting up the, the corner. Just under two minutes left to play. Thompson doing a tremendous job keeping that ball inside the scoring circle. Tewksbury really desperate to take get it out. 2.30 minutes halves, I would say. Thompson has had the ball in the scoring circle. 28 minutes almost. Tewksbury has been only across midfield probably four times in the entire game. Testament to Chumpsford's defense, skill and energy of their girls. Chumpsford moving where they have to be, looking, passing. Sarah Squarey. Trying to get the ball in a scoring circle. Trying for one more goal in this last minute. Libby McCurry. Stoppage in play. Infraction on Tewksbury. Jump should ball. Yeah, there's an infraction on Jump should. Tewksbury's ball. Again, running time. Um, Game just about to end. Jumps are not allowing the ball in their own defensive side. And number three, Delaney Gembis, trying to move around the Tewksbury defender. Tewksbury just makes it over midfield and very quickly Chelmsford defender number 15 uh, Caroline Millen moving the ball past back into Tewksbury's defensive side. Official time is kept on the field. Uh, our, our clock shows no time left. Only seconds left in this game. Three sharp blasts by the referee's whistles, and the game is ended. I believe uh, number six on Chumpshut is Julia Squarey. I can't confirm that. I'll try to confirm that before we go off the air. Scoring Chumpshut's last goal, making it Chumpshut five, Tewksbury zero. I'm Rob Russo at uh, George Simonian Alumni Stadium in tonight's MVC contest between Chumpshut and Tewksbury. Congratulations to the Chumpshut girls. They played a very good hockey Field hockey game tonight, uh, coming out on top, keeping themselves, as always, in the hunt for the MVC title. Here we have our parting shots as Chumpsford gathers. And they'll thank the fans and they'll thank the referees and they'll thank the other players and then they'll shake hands. So once again, Rob Russo, Chumpsford High School Telemedia, thank you guys in the booth and the camera people doing a great job as always. I'll be back again in about a week when Chumpshood High football goes to Andover. Everybody have a great night. Drive home safe.